Howdy folks, Zelgrax here, welcome back to Subnautica Sub-Zero. We are... Well, we're somewhere new. Uh, we're in our little sea truck here. We're gonna go out and explore this little area here. Try really hard not to die in it. So this is like the inside of a floating island. Nice. Lead is very valuable. This is. Uh, let's. This guy's got trapped, I think. I don't think he's supposed to be inside this. I think there's a slight issue there. Uh, now, out here, I also saw what looked like table coral, but of a different color. Hmm, just table coral. Okay. Let's uh, put our knife on number four. Yep, okay. It's just green table coral, but it does the same job. Ooh, what the... Well, that is not organic. That's... Well, it's not organic. It's 100% not organic. I don't see it come back in on this side. Hmm. Let's just hop back inside here real quick. Uh, so we've got quartz, supplies, wow that's a lot of lithium, that's awesome. I'll pop that in there too. Okay, so that's, that's become detached. But it was previously attached in some way, shape, or form to something below. Should we go take a little look? See if there's any sign of what was below. Oh, gel sack again. Still don't need more of those. Ruby, again. Interesting. Oh, there's something... That's a, a module, maybe? We need to get out. Exothermal reactor module. Nice. That's a good find. Hey, friend. I wonder if there's more to find down here. I mean, obviously, there's always more to find down here, but you know what I mean. In this section. Ultra capacity tank fragment? Wow, you need three of those? That's annoying. More rubies. Really don't need more rubies. We know where there is an infinite supply of rubies, basically. But I just, I always find it so hard not to pick everything up when I see it. Come on. Oh, it's really... There we go. It's having a hard time locking on. Man, these nests are so good. Oh, we just got the recipe for hydrochloric acid. Oh, almost got the ultra tank. One more. Oh, 
Ultra tank? Anything? Oh. Thank you, friend. I was looking for quartz. Uh, one moment. Just have some messages. one down there. Let's go. Oh, is that the upgrade again? Yeah, don't need that one. Right? I think we got that. What is this? Fallen lily pad. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. All good. This area is just full of great resources. I love it. All these upgrades and stuff. Just go look at the nest. Okay, I looked at that one already. Did I? Oh. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's just go replenish quickly in the old uh, truck. I love these distractions. It's so hard to stay on, on task when you just keep finding cool stuff. Okay, that looks like that thermal plant upgrade again. It is. But we need titanium, so that's fine. You know what? Screw it. Literally no harm in getting more ruby. Or gel sacks. Wait, why is this here? Oh, hello. Didn't I tell you to stay away? Oh. From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite made us the name. Marguerite! On my turf. I thought I recognized that voice. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. She survived? Oh man, I should have known. Um, I feel like we missed some stuff back. We also kind of missed the... Uh, the big ship. So before I get too crazy involved with Marguerite here... these lights you know I was just saying what are these lights well now we know it's Marguerite oh my goodness that's so oh I love it I love it how did I not recognize the voice ah oh, I'm annoyed at myself uh, no. no just get in There we go. Okay, let's just drop off titanium. And we'll put the ruby in there as well. Why not? Let's just... 
generic medals by the looks of it. Okay, so before we head on, so we need this and this. There's two there's two more upgrades here that we haven't finished finding yet. And it's it's my experience with these sorts of things that you need to you're, you're like, I mean, you, you it's not that you can't find them elsewhere when you're playing. But usually you can find all of a thing in, a, in an area. Once you start looking in an area, you find everything of it. That's a precursor thing there again. Also not what we're here for, though. What we're here for. Have we got this one? Let's see. Yep, sure have. It's tricky because there's, there's a lot here. It's hard to be organized. When there's this many. You're new. Arrow Ray. Cool. Hey, friend. These guys are great. Okay, I'm not gonna sweat those uh, those items now. Like I want them, but Oops. it's not crucial. I got more more plotty things to do. So, how do we get out? I think we just get out. Oof. Hope that wasn't a sea monkey. That was me pressing the wrong button. I just want to turn the lights off. Okay, so pilot's last known location is this way. So this is where we will find what we're looking for. New fish. That I may have just hit. So if we go straight down there, I think that's where she is. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Okay, this is where it broke off. What is that? Aquarium. I like the sound of that. Oh, you. New creature discovered. Okay, that looks like where it broke off. The piece we had floating earlier. So let's follow that. Or is this also broken? Okay, that whole thing's broken. Okay, I'm pretty sure somewhere around here should be that 
Mercury ship, though. Are you going to cause me issues? I don't think so. Again, if I was not in the truck, maybe. I do feel very in open waters, though. And that's disconcerting. Okay, I feel like we've kind of lost track here. Let's head back towards Marguerite's location. I can't believe it's her. <clears throat> I f this might be one of those things where, you know, if you know, you know kind of situations. I don't know. Kind of hard to gauge, really, but I mean, if you do know, you know for sure. You know, if you if you played the first one or you read up on the first one, the lore of the first one, <clears throat> then her existence is not a surprise, I suppose. Hello. This looks. Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Here it is. Vessel name Mercury Two. Inoperative. Yeah, no, no kidding. Looking to see if there's any way into this section before we move on to that giant piece down there. It's got lily pads growing off it. I don't see any obvious ways in. But it's not always obvious. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on this big guy over here. Okay, I'm going to drive into the other one. See if we can find a way in here. Did I just crash into it again? No, this is a different bit. There's just lots of random semi floating bits of ship here. This is crazy. Mercury 2. Yeah, that's it, alright. Bow is the front, right? Oh, wow. Well, this guy's big. This guy's very big. Wreckage. First time we've seen that since uh, Subnautica, the original. Yikes. I think I may have hit something again. Okay, I'm. See fluid intake. Oh. Vital signs stabilizing. There. Okay, finally. Okay, let's just dump off the titanium and I guess the fish.
Okay. This is why we brought our laser cutter, everybody. Oh, it's so bright, though. I forgot how bright the laser cutter is. Although, you know what? I feel like they've toned this down from, from previous. I really do. It was crazy in the uh, first game. Wow, the power dropped so fast with this. Whew. Alien containment? Nice! on a completely uncharted planet uh -oh. he expects I've me got to lost for that <laughs> Orion's belt I would be an absolute fool we've done some scans and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet there is decent biodiversity teams go out in the morning there should be a significant specimen and sample hall for bio patenting which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more soul transgub credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. One second. Okay. So, we've learned a little bit about the uh, Mercury 2 here. Now, what did we just pick up? Depleted reactor rod. Creepy. Alright, let's head back in. Nice. Wiring kit. Power cell? This is good stuff. Oh, I love how it's just been completely overrun by nature. Let's just restock the oxygen each time. Yeah, it's so, so just completely overrun. It's brilliant. It really gives an idea of how long it's been here. So let's keep going down here for now. I'm not going to pick up that metal salvage. I am going to pick up that copper wire. That's another deplete. There's a lot of depleted nuclear waste that's a little disconcerting synthetic fibers you beauty that's uh, that's advanced tech that we did not have access to well, I think technically we could have done it But we, we hadn't done anything like that yet. So that that's really neat to, to throw that in. Let's check in here again. Okay, we've got another door. Power drains so fast. But I can see there's another crate inside, so I want to get in there. We also didn't get the... Uh, Chinese potatoes. Nice. Takes care of our food. Oh, exterior grow bed. Finally. Needed that. More potatoes. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. 
The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, <laughs> which means civilization, and civilization means dun, 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 language. Oh, man. And now, most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface if I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Okay, found my way out. You know, I had thought, maybe I should build multiple storage units. I thought, nah, that's silly. Don't need to do that. A little bit worried about these potatoes. Are we, like, almost full? Wow. Yeah, we are. There's so much here. Alright, so we went through here, then up, then through, and we did that. Okay, then we went back. Oh, then we went through here, and then there was stuff to cut in here. And I don't know if that's useful. Okay, disconcerting. Okay, that's the grow bed and stuff. So we can head back out. Take a hit of O2. Many thanks. I don't think I'm missing anything else up here. As far as I can see, that's just a staircase. That was the alien containment. Which is great because now I can do something with my creature eggs. There's another hole there. Okay, let's resupply, go check out that other hole. Well then, I have something important to share. Another artifact? Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That's a long way away. Okay. Not gonna worry about that one right now. So we go through. Then round to the right, there's this guy. And this guy leads where? Into a room with a parallel processing unit fragment. No idea what that means. The fact that there's one of them is interesting. Oh, hello. Okay, that's just growing naturally in here. That's fun. Gonna ignore that metal salvage for now. Is this out the bottom of the ship? I think it is. I wanna go back the way I came. Oh. little titanium thing. 
Let's head back in. Water, thank you. I was running a bit low. Some of the salvage goes down a long way. Really makes you want to dive. And I, I feel like that's uh, a, a, a trap almost. Because it can take you into areas that you can't get out of. Quickly enough at least. Okay, I just missed that one. This is the first time in here. Well, we landed safely, despite my apprehension. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to that advice? <laughs> oh, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years to get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower. But she's in charge, not me. Ooh. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two, as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. Ah, she's got the best smile. Okay, so we just got a reinforced dive suit, which is great. And then... We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans. We were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it <sighs> that decision cost three lives I mean, half my team they got ripped to shreds by something they died screaming alone in the cold dark waters I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. no no I got too greedy I was so close it was right next to it. At least all our stuff should be there, actually. Right? We were... I think we were over here. Look, yes. Here it is. Oh, thank goodness. Is that inventory full? Basically, yeah. I can't tell if we've covered everything or not. But, you know. We're kind of full here. And by kind of full, I mean we are completely full. 
So I think that is where we need to uh, bring this to an end for now. I have a feeling there's more here that we haven't had a chance to explore. Let's head on up. And then head home. We've, we've unlocked a lot here. And there's a lot of lore. And there's still... Look at these lily pads. How did Marguerite end up so far north? And who is this guy? Okay, I gotta go check this guy out real quick. Because he looks awesome. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you're you're a glow whale. Like we saw before. You're so cool. Okay. Let's head back home. We're running low on power. How far from home are we? Whew! Long way. Let's head up to the top here. There's a whole pod of these whales. I really like them. They remind me of the uh, reef backs. We need a power cell charger. Did we encounter a power cell charger? Now we have a battery charger. Uh, we've got hydrochloric acid. We need young cotton anemone. Earth. That's so how we get polyaniline. Don't know what this is, but we got one of the things for it. We can get this dive suit, and we have synthetic fibers now. So that's good. We need to build that. Uh, we had some upgrades we were working on there. We have the exterior grow bed. We have the alien containment. Both of those are very good news. Some extra stuff here. Uh, we do not have a power cell charger. I think... Maybe we need to go to one of the other bases. Um, we can probably figure out where it is. It's the wrong button. Wait, what is this? What is this? Is this part of the Mercury? I think this is part of Mercury too. Two. As well. This is the rear of the ship. Okay, where are we? Triangulate. We are 554 away. Okay, 554 five, and 379. Okay, making a note. So it's 379 to pilot, 554 five, to home, and if we go right, 429 to copper. Okay. We don't have time to investigate that now. How do we... We must have literally only just missed that. That's crazy. Because we came right through here. So what I might do... I think I should. Um, so during the... Uh, this is the, the last one for this session. 
Um, it's been a long session. I, I got through a lot here. Quite pleased with that. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, I'll do some repairs. Like off, off screen, I'll do some repairs. I'll probably expand the base a little bit. Do some more farming. I will not do any, um, any story progression. Just going to focus on uh, getting, you know, just like, well, I've got a, I got a truck full of stuff here. So I need to unload everything, um, replenish my personal supplies, eat some food, that sort of thing. But, you know, it's going to take a while to unload everything, get some or proper organization going. Uh, because, you know, obviously this is all full. Uh, poor fish. We're completely full up of, of all sorts, uh, actually. We have a titanium thing. So let's use that. Uh, actually, let me get two of those back real quick. Let me just pop in a basic plant pot here. Make sure we get that guy growing. So now we have that. So we have we have a lot going on here. We're going to take this guy out and just release him. Bye friend. Oh. Actually, can I just scan you real quick? Thanks. And then I think we have one little friend in here. I don't know if he's going to be alive. Oh, we had two friends. Perfect. Yeah, let's go pop them in. Oh, he's a predator, so he can't go in there because these are all. I see. Can we cook you? We can. It does newt taste good. Did it say that? Yes, it did. Let's eat the newt. Okay. So we have. We did. There's just so much that we need to work on. Like, so much. The blueprints we've added is insane. We can build a modification station now. We can build a jukebox, and we should. Uh, we can build the alien containment. Uh, we can build the moon pool with the upgrade console. The thermal plant, although that's not relevant here. Exterior grow bed we can put in place so that we have the creep vine next to us as well as the ribbon plants. And the gel stacks. We need to reinforce so that stuff doesn't break. We want to put an observatory in, um, and we can also consider trying to see if we can find a good spot to build all the way down, like way, way down, um, to where it got real scary, and we started seeing the big <laughs> squid guys, the squid sharks, whatever they're called, um, and then we can start putting some, some stuff in, um, create one giant base that goes all the way down through the through the system. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, these fish look dope. Um, but yeah, it's it's there, there's a lot of work uh, to to unpack everything that's going on here right now. So I'm not going to try and do that now because it's gonna it's gonna take me probably over an hour to to just catalog and organize everything to get all the titanium I need to actually create proper storage solutions. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna go anywhere new off screen. I'm just going to keep farming the areas that I'm in. Don't you worry. Uh, mostly what we need is titanium. Just lots and lots of titanium as well as lead and lithium to reinforce the structure, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm having a blast. Um, you know, as long as people keep watching it and are enjoying it, then I'll, I'll keep playing this uh, on screen. If for some reason, you know, there's no one real, no real interest in it, then I'll just carry on off screen. But uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Thank you all very so much. Very so much for watching. Yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.